In today's video, we are going to talk about perturbations. Basically, why a really good balance restraining program does include some component of perturbing your balance, why that's essential, and of course, exercises that you can start doing to incorporate perturbations into your home exercise routine to really take your balance confidence to the next level. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara, I'm a neurologic physical therapist, and on this channel we talk about anything and everything related to mobility, health, fitness, and mindset in the context of neurologic injury with the end goal of empowering you with as many tools as possible to take ownership of your rehab and your health to live an overall more active, more mobile, pain-free, happier, healthier life. First, let's just talk about what balance is. I know that I talk about this a lot, but we have new people on this channel and I do always think it's worth review, but balance is just basically how your body maintains its center of gravity, your body, within your base of support and the body's ability to quickly and almost automatically reposition your center of mass within your base of support if your body is perturbed or knocked off midline. Okay, so that second component is the component that we're gonna focus on today. How do you improve that? Well, you have to have something incorporated into your home exercise program that is actually perturbing you or putting you in situations in a controlled and safe way of knocking your center of gravity either to what we call the limits of stability, which is right on kind of like the edge of that cliff of your base of support, or over the edge so that your body can learn how to quickly and almost automatically reposition it within your base of support. So that's the why, but now let's go ahead and dive into the best exercises that I can think of to date to work on perturbing your balance to improve your balance response reactions. All right, so this is a vibration plate. This is absolutely the best place, not just for early stage, although it doesn't seem like it's throwing you off balance that much, but I've put people on this that are even in the later stages and it's super duper uncomfortable. And that's a clear sign to me that it's something that we need to work on. And these are people that are in those later stages. So just start with sit to stands. Again, this vibration plate kind of shifts back and forth a little bit. And you're just going to work on sit to stands. Once you get good at that and your feet are shoulder width apart, you can narrow that base. So now we're really working those edges of your limits of stability and do the same thing. All right, and then you can take that one step further and you can actually put your feet in a straight line and same thing, just try and hold that position. Again, it's tossing me all over the place right now. So it's a great way to build in an activity where your balance is being perturbed before you get into the real world and you actually have to face some of these conditions, these unpredictable conditions where you really want your balance reactions to be very quick and very automatic. All right, so for this setup, what we're doing is just taking a weight, attaching it to a resistance band, attaching a resistance band to either this wall anchor, or you can use the door anchor. I will put a link for the door anchor in the description below. I've made videos on the door anchor and how much I love it, but it works very, very well. And then you can just put that at different levels. And again, that adds a little bit of a perturbance. You can do all kinds of things in this position. You could do like a crossover step. You could do the forward step. You could do a little bit of a lunge step, all right? Again, that weight bouncing around like that is just, again, it's creating just a little bit of a perturbance so that your body has to learn how to quickly and very almost automatically respond to this weight by adjusting your balance appropriately. We're working on making that reaction time faster. So love, love, love this setup. All right, and now probably my favorite and probably the best money I have spent 
this month on a balance retraining tool. I probably use this with all my patients right now that um, have balance, improving their balance as one of their goals. It is super challenging. It's a condition that really can't be created any other way, but that water sloshing around makes this thing just toss you all over the place. And guess what? Your body has to quickly and automatically respond to that. You can uh, grade this anyway just by the amount of water that you put into it. And then there's a ton of things that you can do with it, okay? So I just showed you one of those lunges. You could even just doing like little squats and holding it, that water sloshing around, it's really like kind of just tossing you around. You can do it with your feet together, same thing. Just like do a little bit of squat. You can put it over your shoulders. And again, you can adjust the water in it, but it really does just like toss you all over the place. Um, and again, I have quite a bit of water in it right now because I have a couple of patients that are a little bit higher level. Just don't put as much water in it and then just try and practice standing. Um, that water, it's very hard to keep that water still. So even just standing and holding it on your shoulders, it is quite challenging. You can see, I mean, I don't know if you can see the water in it, but it does just kind of slosh back and forth. It makes it super, super challenging. And again, I would say that this is probably the tool I've been using just about everyone who really needs uh, to create some of those conditions because they're trying to improve their balance, confidence, and more uncontrolled circumstances. But even at lower levels, uh, just put less water in it and it would be a great tool again at any level to create a little bit of a perturbance to work on the speed and the timing of your balance reactions. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you found something in here that you could use to add uh, some sort of a condition to your balance program where you're incorporating something that's throwing you off balance. Again, to work on the speed and the automaticity of those balance response reactions. If you like this kind of video and you're new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I upload new videos. I enjoyed spending time with you all today and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.